Hyperlative. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And this is some Team Fortress 2 gameplay actually. I um, got this gameplay a while back, I guess. And, you know, it's something that I do on various occasions. I just fire up Team Fortress 2 and have my bit of fun, really. I um, wasn't really enjoying this game before the Uber update, actually. Um, I have had the game almost since release. But uh, I've never really found the you know the gun that's for me the class for me I've, I've tried it on with the soldier and the scout but you know I, I kind of preferred the heavy but I didn't kind of feel like I had the right play style and I've always kind of struggled with this with this game and then all of a sudden here comes the Tomislav the gun I'm using now and it's suddenly the gun for me I mean we just fit like you know hand in a glove or something like that I just really love this gun and how it, you know, how it feels and it just makes me, it makes me able to play as an aggressive heavy and that's what I've been trying to do all this time but I haven't been really been able to because of the guns that I have available but now with the Tomislav I can do it my way, finally. <laughs> so um. I haven't been able to put out a lot of commentaries in the last while. I said I was back, though not on black, but it turns out I wasn't as much back as I thought I was, or something. Uh, <laughs> um, I actually moved on uh, last Saturday uh, to my new home, and it's quite awesome. I'm sharing a floor with two other dudes. Most uh, and I have some more friends down in the basement, and there's probably gonna move in one more friend of mine uh, later on, and it's gonna be quite awesome. And quite frankly, I haven't had the time to, well, neither game nor put out commentaries because I've just had been having a lot of fun with our friends when I'm home, and the other hours of the day I pretty much sleep or work so. Between all that, I haven't been able to actually turn on my computer that much. I've turned it on just for a couple of hours each day, which is very little, especially speaking about me or you know when it comes to me. So that's why I've um, been kind of uh, uh, how should I put it away, <laughs> simply, quite simply, you know. So. Um, I'll, I'll see how it turns out when I start school in um, in li uh, a little over a week or so. I'll see how you know the timetables turn out and everything. So I perhaps I'll be able to put up more content. I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll see. Um, yeah, and by the way, I I I was thinking about a thing here the other day. There is a guy here in Norway who are, who's started a website called LoveApple.no. And it's a site about Apple, you know, the company behind the Macintoshes and the iPhones. And uh, one of the comments on the site said that you can't find a site named, you know, like uh, Love Microsoft or uh, Microsoft Forever or Microsoft is my BFF or anything of that kind it's only Apple that really have these devoted fans and that just shows how great Apple is and it just made me want to say that the reason why you can't find any website named love Microsoft is because people who use Microsoft products know that you can't just love a company I mean it's like it's like being in a relationship with someone who doesn't really love you. All that you're there for is just to say you're in a relationship with a girl, right? And she's home during the days. She's a stay-at-home mom or just stay-at-home wife, I guess. And you're at work, working hard and just, you know, you're keeping... You're, you're getting food on the table, but you know, you're working hard to get get it there, so uh, 
so you know you're trying the best you can and then at the same time you know that your girl is sleeping around during the days when you're at work you know this but you know but still you 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 keep your you keep yourself together you you're still married you're you're still in this relationship and that's kind of what being in a being in love with a company is i mean even though you say you love apple or you love microsoft they don't love you back all they are interested in is your money and if you don't give them money then they give don't give a crap about you they can say whatever they want in advertisements or in uh statements they don't care about you unless you give them money and the only loyalty that a company has is to its stockholders and all that the stockholders want is the company to make them the most money so i being in love with a company or even have you know that kind of devotion to a company that a lot that some apple fanboys have is just really stupid and don't think for a second that Steve Jobs or anyone cares about you. If you don't give them your money, if you don't buy their products, they don't care shit about you. And Apple is very cynical on that part. I mean, Apple is probably one of the worst. And though Steve Jobs is a genius, I can't deny that, he's a freaking jerk. I mean, he's a bastard jerk off, whatever you want, an idiot, moron, whatever. I don't know, I, just a horrible person. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Slackers! Oh! <laughs>